Hi, this is JP from Not Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And I am actually playing uh, the Mutant Genesis as a campaign. Uh, so I decided to try out uh, Gambit or Remy LeBeau in protection aspect and try it again the, the Mutant Genesis campaign mode which I haven't played yet. So we are starting from Sabertooth and I am playing on standard difficulty. So uh, before we go into the campaign mode, uh, let's look at the deck I have chosen to use in this playthrough. Okay, and here is the Uno know, Reverse uh, Gambit protection deck I found on uh, marvelcdp.com and it is by Classy robot and uh, seems like a really fun, fun protection deck to play. Uh, of course, uh, I have to choose a role for my X-Men for this uh, campaign, and I have chosen Defender, but I am not using any uh, Justice cards or stuff like that. But I might change the aspect from game to game, but I'm not, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, uh, we are playing this deck. Mm, I'm pretty excited to see some of these cards, like uh, Judoka skill seems like a really good one. Uh, when you defend against an enemy attack, remove one Judoka. Or from here, that enemy gets minus two attack for this attack. So that combos really well with Unflappable and hard to ignore. So. With those, uh, I think the main scheme will be okay, but uh, of course uh, Gambit has his own good uh, Twart removing cards for the side schemes, so hoping to see these when uh, trying to get rid of some of these uh, nasty side schemes that we need to tackle when playing campaign mode. Uh, of course, a lot of Protection staples like Electro Static Armor, uh, Armored Vest, then uh, Hard Knocks. This this seems like a good one uh, for this deck. Not today is a newer card from Rogue Pack. So when your hero defends against an attack, it gets plus two defense for this attack if you take no damage from this attack. Remove two threat from a scheme. So again, a good event for defending and removing threat but uh, I haven't played this deck so I won't talk that much more about it because I haven't built it so I, I had decked this and it seems like a really fun protection deck to play so let's hop back over to the scenario okay and we have set up the scenario uh, so from standalone playing uh, this differs a bit, so we have this um, future past uh, side scheme, or not side scheme, but uh, modular encounter set uh, shuffle here. So, and why we have that is because we have the pride and police here. So, when defeated, shuffle the top card of the future past deck into the encounter deck, flip this card, and put uh, Metro PD into play. So, uh, it has a crisis icon also, so we can't remove threat from the main scheme or uh, uh, toward, toward that before we get rid of this. Of course, we have to find the senator also. And in addition to that, as I said, I chose the defender role. So we are picking one of these at random. So I'll do that when we start. And after picking that card, you could still uh, change your deck, but I am not doing that. Just sticking to that deck. So that is basically everything I wanted to say before we start. So let's get started. Okay, and uh, we are pr basically ready to start. So uh, we have put the senator side scheme in. Uh, find the senator side scheme into play. Attach the Robert Kelly alley to it. Uh, while attached to the find the senator Robert Kelly is in play but under no player's control so we flip that and I'm just double checking did I miss something 
during the campaign setup. So I have recorded that I am the defender, then I can uh, at random get one of those defender cards into play. And it is put into play immediately. And we have shuffled the future past cards and then we have uh, revealed the frightened police card. So we are ready to begin. So just shuffle these and uh, pick one at random. And we get swagger. So these go away. We don't use them. So swagger says it's a skill. Zero cost upgrade. Hero interrupt defense. When you make a basic defense, you get plus three defense. Ready your hero. Remove this card from the game and the campaign pool. Might be useful against uh, Saber Tooth. And uh, let's just shuffle this one more time. Okay. And that doesn't come into play if we ignore the frightened police, but I think we need to get rid of that at some point. So, um, uh, we need to remember that when uh, we have resolved the step one of the villain phase, we deal two damage to Robert Kelly, and if Robert Kelly is defeated, we lose the game. So we need to get uh, find the senator fast, so we basically need to get rid of the five threat from here as fast as possible. And Robert Kelly has 9 health, so it, it takes a couple of turns for Saber to, to kill it off. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cards. Now we get Energy, Chocasta, Natural Agility, Molecular Acceleration, Powerful Punch and Creolite Charmer. So I think we are pretty well set up to get the, find the Senator as fast as possible. But, um, I have a couple of resource cards here, so I could play Jocasta and Crowley Charmer, maybe keep the natural agility in hand. So, I think we won't stay in <coughs> Alter Ego, we'll just flip to hero mode, uh, immediately we'll uh, charge the card, so we'll place one counter on Gambit. Then I will play uh, Chocasta and uh, I will use Powerful Punch and Energy. And when you play Chocasta, you may play an event attached to Chocasta as if it were in your hand. Response after Chocasta enters play, choose a defense event in your discard pile and attach it to her face down. So I will actually do this in a bit different order because these are not in my discard yet. So I will use uh, no, they are you spent immediately. So I'll pick this and put it. I'll put it uh, up face side up so I remember what card that is. Then I will use molecular acceleration. When you spend this card, place one charge counter on Gambit. So we we'll place one here. Then we'll play Creole Charmer and it is a port. Remove three threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat from that scheme, confuse the villain. So actually uh, taking back this again here. So I'm immediately using Chocasta to exhaust to uh, thwart uh, two from here. So now this is down to three. So now this removes the last threat. So we confuse the villain. And we flip this. So protect the senator mission. Uh, Robert Kelly cannot be healed by player card effects and cannot have upgrades attached. Hero response. After you, your hero defends against an attack from Saber to spend two resources of any type ready your hero. Only the player who controls Robert Kelly can trigger this ability. So, <clears throat> we'll put that there. Robert Kelly is under our control, and now uh, Robert Kelly is not flanked anymore, so uh, the first player controls Robert Kelly. He doesn't count against your ally limit and cannot have player card attachments. A forced interrupt. When an enemy resolves an undefended attack against you, deal the damage to Robert Kelly. 
Uh, long, seems like a long turn, but it is what it is. So, um, I think we are not attacking yet. So, also, we advance to scheme 2A. So, the injured senator, when revealed, deal each player a face down encounter card. So, we get one encounter card. Then, uh, we have a nine. Uh, threat threshold on the main scheme. When completed, if one completed defeat Robert Kelly. If uh, Robert Kelly, Kelly leaves, play players lose the game. So now basically we need to kill off Sabertooth as fast as possible. But um, just thinking, I'll just uh, remove one threat from here for now. And that is my turn. So we're ready up. I'll keep the natural agility in hand, so we get one, two, three, four. Actually, I'll back up um, so that I have this in hand, and this is under Jocasta, because we can play that from underneath that, and this is a defense, so I use this. Uh, to play Joe Casta, so it was in my discord, so I could just add it here. So this is in my hand, and we draw 1, 2, 3, 4, two, 5 cards. Okay, strength, uh, the Thief skill, charge card, times 2, and powerful punch, so we can really start bursting damage from now on. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes, so uh, we add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Separatute attacks. I will defend with Gambit. And uh, when you defend against, you can place one charge counter on Gambit. For each charge counter on Gambit, you get plus one defense. So I'll play this. So I'll place one charge counter here. And I'm defending six versus two. Uh, not the wrong deck. Um, plus one, uh, so we don't take any damage. And uh, we get two encounter cards. So, infiltration, when revealed, shuffle this card into your deck. This card gains search. Well, that, that sucks, so we search that, so... Let's see what comes up. Okay, and then the search card is Pyro, so Pyro comes into play, then uh, we get Adamantium Cause on Sabertooth, so Sabertooth gets plus one attack, at, and Sabertooth again scares piercing, a hero action spend one resource of each type, uh, discard this card. Okay, well that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see what we can do this round. So we have charge the card uh, times two. We have powerful punch. Could save that for when Pyro tries to attack us, so we can just defeat Pyro. And uh, we'll. Uh, add one charge counter and uh, I think I will get rid of the frightened police so this flips over so this is a permanent the first player controls Metro PD action exhaust Metro PD choose to either deal one damage to an enemy or remove one threat from a scheme so uh, just exhaust so we control that so I'll exhaust to remove one threat so that actually helps us quite a bit so Chocasta is defeated then um, we will play charge the card spend three from here Deal 7 on 2 
uh, saber tooth and uh, actually let's back up we can uh, just defeat pyro and deal three damage to saber tooth with the overkill we gain so pyro is defeated and we have uh, so we are at 10 on saber tooth and uh, might as well play charge the card so second time use this counter there is no limit to how many times we can use those so uh, we gain range but that doesn't matter so we deal five damage to saber tooth and that is our turn uh, we ready up we draw one two three four five uh, we get electro static armor forge uh, powerful punch steps two and night crawler we'll go to the villain phase uh, we add one threat here, Saber Tooth attacks. Um, I will defend with Gambit and I will play the powerful punch. And I'm using. Uh, I'm not sure I have time to play Nightcrawler just yet. Hmm. I think I'll use Nightcrawler and let's throw. No, I'll use the other powerful punch and Nightcrawler. So I'll keep the electrostatic armor in hand. And play the powerful punch. So we deal 5 damage. Uh, I mean, 4 damage. And Sabertooth it's for two, uh, 3 plus 2, so we take 2 damage, then Sabertooth heals for 0, so no healing for Sabertooth, which is great. Uh, we get an encounter card. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to shuffle one of these into the deck this round, so just a moment. So that goes in, and I'm not even looking what it is, so we'll shuffle that into the Counter deck. Okay, so the encounter card for this round is uh, Animal Ferocity attached to Saber Tooth. Saber Tooth gains stalwart and uh, hero action spend stuff. So actually, the confused uh, goes away because stalwart cannot be stunned or confused. Well, that sucks. But that's not the Worst. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, I think I need to go to Alter Ego to heal for a bit. So I'm using Forge to play Electrostatic Armor, flipping to Alter Ego. I'm using the Metro PD to remove one threat from here, and that is our turn. We ready up. I'm not actually even healing, I just want 6 cards in my hand. So that is my turn. We get Royal Flush. Oh yeah, before I uh, change sides, I put one charge counter on me. Uh, Hard Knocks, Judoka Skill, Genius, Gambit Skilled Armor and Royal Flush. Okay, well... That is that, so... Uh, we go to the villain phase, we add one threat here. Uh, Sabertooth schemes for one plus one and discard one random card from your hand. And we discard this, so hard knocks is discarded. Okay. That's not that bad. Then uh, we add 3 here, so we are at 4. 
uh, encounter cards of this round is Shadows of the Past. Well, that sucks. So we get Belladonna into play, Quick Strike Toughness. Well, lucky we are in Alter Ego. We get the Assassin's Guild, and it comes to into play with four threats. So I think we are trying to just power through. And then we get this um, Guild Assassins and Assassination Attempt shuffled into the encounter deck. So we are really on the clock now to just uh, defeat Sabertooth as fast as possible. Okay. And that is that. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And uh, yeah, I forgot I should have uh, seen if uh, we heal a saber tooth last round, so we'll do that. We heal two damage, and that sucks. It is what it is, so <clears throat> let's see. Do we want to? I will uh, remove one from our choice. I will remove one from here. Then I will flip. Use Chudoka skill to play uh, the guild armor. We'll uh, put one more charge counter on Gambit. And uh, we hit the top off of this. Uh, no, we don't defeat it, we just hit the top off. <clears throat> then I will play the Royal Flush and use these two counters. And I'll use the Royal Flush and Genius to play that. So we deal two damage three times. So one, two, three times on this. So it's defeated. Or. Yeah, I think we have to do that. So we're ready up. We draw back up to one, two, three. So this comes into play as a two, three, four, five. So we get an extra encounter card for this round. So we get not today, hard to ignore, hard knocks, and natural agility. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase, so we add two here, we're at five, and Saber to at attacks. I will defend with Gambit, play natural. Uh, no. hmm. I'll play this, so we'll add one charge counter here, so we're at defense four. We use Hard Knocks to play Not Today. So we get plus two. So now we are uh, six defense against three. And it is supposed to uh, deal this card to yourself as a face down and counter card. Well, that sucks. But uh, we don't take any damage. So now we deal one damage to Sabertooth. Then we. Exhaust this to ready Gambit. And uh, then we remove two threat from a scheme, so we could actually use two. Um, I 
sure what this card is. Oh yeah, this is the how much separate it heals so one, I think. Okay. And uh, yeah, we get one encounter card more. But I was thinking I want to remove it from here. Okay, so we get the encounter cards, uh, infiltration. So we shuffle this. So we had to discard an ally or support three control. No, uh, we shuffle this. Then we get Bastion, which has toughness, villainous, and victory one. So this is from the future's past, so I think we are just ignoring that. Then we get uh, Homo Superior, attached to a minion and give it a tough status card, otherwise this card gets searched. So this guy has plus five hit, uh, hit points, so we are definitely ignoring that. And I think that's everything, so that is that round. Uh, let's... So, yeah, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, there's nothing much to do this round, because we have... I'm actually changing that I used one of the hard knocks to play, not today, and I will play the hard to ignore. Uh, so, after your hero defends against an attack and takes no damage, exhaust, hard to ignore and remove one threat from the main scheme. So, uh, we will remove one threat from the main scheme. Then, uh, we will. Uh, we'll have to go regroup, so. I will actually flip. I'll use this ability here, so I'll look at the top two cards. I'll pick one of the three, so... So I'll discard the Feral Rage. Place this on top, so we remove a tree from here. And uh, that is our turn, so we ready up. Two, three, four, five, six. We get Professor X, Curly Charmer, Hard to Ignore, Charge, Card, Rogue. Capit staff, and again I added one before I went down to Rico. So we're ready, and I just noticed my mistake, so I might lose this round. So we add two threat. Okay, so I will uh, not do this. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm committed. So if I lose, I lose. That's that. So, uh, we add two here. Saber to schemes for one plus three. That's four. Then this guy schemes for two plus one. So we lose. So, that was stupid. But, what can you do? So, uh, I think the error here was to draw Bastion, because that guy is a villainous, so we, uh, I forgot that uh, he also gets an encounter card, but yeah, uh, yeah, Sabertooth is not an easy 
encounter and especially because I hit the stupid shadows from the past so early on uh, that messed up my game because of this and having the uh, nemesis enemy in play so yeah uh, well it's a first try loss for this deck against the Sabertooth on the campaign mode but I will try again uh, later and try to beat this but I think I will continue the series next time in the next scenario and just uh, see how many tries it took me with this deck to beat this uh, scenario but yeah this is uh, or this was the gambit protection against Sabertooth on campaign mode so hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time